what this stack looks like. Let's fire it. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Stenson Farms. Hey, we're on the road this morning to go pick up the 4430. Uh, they've got it done and complete. It's ready to come home, and we're gonna we're gonna go pick it up, uh, get it hauled home, and I got a couple of things I want to I want to do to it once I get it there. Maybe clean it up and get it ready for the spring. But that's what we're doing today. So if you want to ride along, we'll. Uh, We'll get to 4430 home and uh, see what we get into after that. Well, here she sits. We will, uh, hmm, brand new compressor. Uh, we'll get it up here and see if she'll start and see if we can get her loaded. I was hoping they had this thing parked inside because it don't crank good cold. It's 28 this morning. All right, try something different. All right, we got her started. Had to jump it. Fixing to pull her up on the trailer and see if I can find my radiator cap. I don't have a radiator cap. old tractors start hard in cold weather it's 28 degrees this morning and this thing's been sitting out here for two or three days uh, since they parked it so uh, they don't start good in cold weather so I had to get a little jump but uh, it's uh, it's loaded and we're headed home and we'll see you at the house when we get home we'll go over all what I had done to it uh, what things we had fixed what it was needing and uh, we'll look we'll look the tractor over a little bit well, hey guys, uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Hey, I'll throw this in real quick. Uh, we drove this truck to Louisville to the Farm Machinery Show the other day. And we got between 20 and 21 miles per gallon on fuel. Uh, I reset the counter in Bowling Green this morning on, before I started back with the tractor. I don't know if you can see that or not. 8.5. Which we're pulling about 17,000 pounds, tractor, trailer and all. Uh, no lack of power. I can pull it. I can keep my speed up, do whatever I need to do, but change the fuel mileage a little bit.
couple things we had done to it. On the air conditioning system, uh, we had a new compressor put on it, the all new O-rings, new belt, uh, a new dryer, receiver and dryer, uh, and a new line, and that's where my leak was, uh, from the compressor to the condenser. So I done all that, charged it up, got it all charged back up, got the system working, and that's good. Uh, fixed all the lights. Uh, my switch was bad. Uh, most of my lights were bad. The wiring was bad. One of the lights would work part time, but if you hit any rough spots, it would it would turn on, turn off. But uh, they put a new switch in it. Uh, the switch was bad. The terminals on the switch was bad. All the wiring was just in a mess everywhere. So all new wiring and everything on that. Uh, so all the lights worked. Uh, the flashers worked. Uh, uh, the rear lights on the cab work uh, and all that. None of that's worked since I've owned the tractor, so they got all that fixed. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, had a hydraulic leak underneath the cab. Uh, pretty severe hydraulic leak. Fixed that. Uh, valve cover was leaking. I attempted to fix it, but it was leaking pretty bad still. Had a fuel leak, a pretty significant fuel leak we fixed. Uh, the alternator was bad. Uh, some of my gauges and my dash was bad. We replaced those. So yeah, hopefully that's everything that it needs right now. Uh, well, it, there is a couple of things. I've got a got to put an extension on my muffler. I've got it here in the shop. Fix and put it on in a minute. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, just put new batteries in it. Hopefully we're ready for spring. I want to get it cleaned up, but I'm not gonna probably not gonna do that today because it's it's 30, 32, 33 degrees right now. So I'm gonna it's supposed to warm up next week. I'm gonna wait till it warms up and we'll clean it up a little bit. But hey, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get that exhaust stack. We'll get it put on and we'll be done with the tractor for today. All right, I got everything gathered up. We're going to get this extension to the muffler put in place. And it'll fit, but it's, it's snug. We're going to use a little persuasion. If I can get to it. What? Don't need your bucket no more? Nope. Alright. That ought to keep the rain out of it. See what this stack looks like when she fires up. My guys, I know that wasn't nothing exciting, but uh, we got the 4430 home. It was in better, it's in better shape than it was when we left with it. And hopefully uh, we're ready to go this spring. Like I said, I want to get it cleaned up, uh, get it shining good, and uh, get all the, the oil and stuff on it that's left on it, and uh, get her greased up and serviced and ready to go for the spring, and we'll, we'll do that another day. Well, guys, I sure appreciate you hanging around. Uh, hey, if you 
if you watch our videos uh if you like them hit the like button that really helps us get noticed out on youtube and um, appreciate everybody who does watch and if you do like it you know hit the like button and that'll help us out but guys i'm i'm sure thankful you're here and i'm glad you're watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you next time